Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, Exercise Number 12. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the right plane for the sketch and draw this profile. Also, draw this profile according to dimensions. Extrude first profile up to 63 millimeters and remaining this profile extrude up to 25 millimeters. Next, we will be done this cut out. Draw a rectangle of his face. And cut extrude up to 12 millimeters. Next, we select this back face of the solid model. And draw a rectangle according to dimension. Then cut through from this solid. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the right plane and click on the sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Line tool. We start the sketch from the left side base corner point. Select the origin point for the first point of the line. Draw horizontally straight to the right side. Put the value 75 mm and press Enter. Continue to draw a line vertically straight to the upside. Put the value 50 mm and press Enter. For the next point, we get a tracking reference of the origin point and select the approximate point here. For the next point, we select the first point of this sketch and close the profile. Escape the command. We need to fix one dimension of this line. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Smart Dimension tool. Select this line. Place the dimension, put the value 12 mm, and press Enter. Now, we draw this profile. Escape the command. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Line tool. Approximate I select the first point of the line here. Then draw the line vertically straight to the upside and select the approximate second point here. Next, we approximate the draw line horizontally straight to the right side and select a point on this slant line. Now we will fix the dimensions of this profile. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Smart Dimension tool. Select this line. Place the dimension. Put the value 16 mm and press Enter. Now we need to fix one more dimension. This is 12 mm. Select this point also you can select this vertical line. And this line. Place the dimension like this. Put the value 12 mm and press Enter. Our sketch is completed. Also, it is fully defined. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Now see, nothing happened here. Because we have two closed profile here. We need to select one by one. Like this one profile. And this is another profile. See here, we have the option selected counters. This is the list of multiple profiles of this sketch. We can manage one by one for the different extruded values. Just right click on this section and select Clear Selection. Now this section is empty. That means no longer any sketch for extruding. Now we select this profile first. Put the extrude value 63 millimeters. Drop down the direction one option. And select midplane option. This is a must according to our diagram. Click on mark OK. Now we go for second profile. Just expand this first step and select this sketch. Our sketch is visible here. Once, go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Then we select this remaining profile from this sketch. Here we need to extrude this sketch with the midplane. Just drop down and select a midplane option. Put the extrude value 25 mm. And click on Mark OK. Now, for the next step. 
we select the face and click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to make a sketch planar face normal. Here we draw a rectangle for this sketch. Go to the sketch tab and select the corner rectangle tool. Select the point on this edge for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor to this direction and select the next point of the rectangle over the solid. Like this. Escape the command. Go to the sketch tab and select the smart dimension tool. Select this edge and select this vertical line. Place the dimension like this. Put the value 25 millimeters and press enter. Similarly, select this vertical line and select this edge. Place the dimension like this. Put the value 25 millimeters and press enter. That's it, a rectangle place in perfect position with correct dimensions. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Cut tool. Slightly rotate this object this way to get the idea of applying a 3D feature. We have a depth of cutout is 12 mm. Put the cut extrude value 12 mm and click on Mark OK. See, our profile is cut out from the solid object. Now next, we need to cut out this profile from the solid. Slightly rotate this object and select back face then click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to make a sketch planar face normal. Go to the sketch tab and select the corner rectangle tool. Select the point on this edge for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor in this direction and select the next point approximately here. Escape the command. Go to the sketch tab and select the smart dimension tool. Select this edge and select this vertical line. Place the dimension like this. Put the value 22 millimeters and press enter. Similarly, select this edge and select this vertical line. Place the dimension. Put the value 22 millimeters and press enter. Next, select this vertical line of the rectangle. Place the dimension. Put the value 12 millimeters and press enter. Escape the command. Slightly rotate this object this way to get the idea of applying a 3D feature. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Cut tool. Drop down the Direction 1 option and select Through All Options. See the preview. This feature will cut out the profile perfectly entire through from the solid object. Click on Mark OK. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Bronze Material. And, I choose Cast Bronze Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.